Hello friends, it's Angie here to plan with you and I'm going to work on a layout for a week in September. Stick around, we're going to get started. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Those of you that are new, welcome. Those of you that plan with me often, it's great to be with you again. So I was looking to decide what to do for this layout for September. I thought this would be a little bit more muted colors for fall rather than bright pinks or things that I normally use for flowers in the springtime. I think I'm going to stick with this theme, use this page. Uh, there's some more of the daisies uh, with the gold background that would go with this as well and just throw in a few boxes with that and try to do something pretty quick. So let's see where we can get started. I thought this might also look nice with it. It's kind of a coral, which is a fall color along with the daisies. We might throw that in as well and kind of mix in the coral and the kind of, I don't want to say turquoise, but it's almost a turquoise green. This would also be good to use these little washi strip stickers here would go with it as well. This could be used too for my one, two, three for the week. I do like to put a priority one, two, three on my plan every week. So that goes across two. Let's just start with this here at the top. I usually put my one, two, three on the sidebar, but works out good. All right, so let's go back here and look at, we have these daisies and these. I think I want to use this quote in the center somewhere. So let me pull that out first. I am envisioning it going right here. I'll just go straight across like this. Now, I'm going to also go look at that washi tape. I kind of forgot that was in here. Maybe put that across here. I like to block off my Saturday, Sunday together because I tend to just look at my weekend as one big block of, one big block of nice fun time, hopefully. So that kind of makes a good balance of that. And then we can throw this one in somewhere else. We'll keep that in mind. I've got a birthday here that I need to mark. I don't think I have anything else that has to be on any certain day here. So I will use these different blocks for different shopping lists or to-do lists, things like that, my declutter list. I'm gonna put a couple of boxes in here. I remember seeing some. Here are the other boxes. So I have two of these that specifically go with this. So I know we we'll wanna use these. I like these too. I wanna to use this one and this one. So let's pull this out. To me, the only place this would be logical to go is right here. So 
And now I think we need to focus on first putting in these and these along with any boxes. Now, what I see this one is being used for is just a place to draw some of this color in and add another box on top of it. And then I'm gonna put something on top of that. Just wanna pull that color across. So I'm gonna go back and find these boxes again. I know I have a birthday here, but I don't think I wanna use that box right there. I think I need something more in the this color. This is what I was envisioning, was covering up this. Part of this was something like that. Now I could use this is the box with the this color that I want to pull over here. And I may want to use one of the daisy stickers. I could always use that over that to kind of cover that up. I could put that up all the way there. Let's do that. Let's layer up a little bit here. Before we go much farther, let's do this. Um, I like to try to usually get a feature box on almost every day. I don't have to, but I think I'll use this bottom section here for um, my Road to Simple Tasks. I need, usually need a large block for that. I think I'm going to try this just to kind of get, get rid of this flower a little bit because it's not something that I'm going to be using throughout this. I'm going to cover that up a little bit, turn my box sideways, that's okay. I think it might be a little bit crooked, but that's all right. So this is where I thought I would, could cover up, cover that up, and maybe I would actually use one of these instead. I'm not sure how big I want that to be. Let's do this. So if you see a color box that you like, but you don't want like what's in it, it's easy enough to just put something over it. I love that. I think that looks really neat. It's like I might need another box right here. Okay, this is the same color family here. Maybe I'll just kind of do a little cluster right here. And then grab one of these. Now in this case, I want the, the daisy with the green background or gray background, I guess I should say. like this already. Yay! <laughs> All right, let's see. We might need to find some more of this color. I think I will use this. Plus I have one of the, this left. Let's do this. Um, for my section that's gonna go all the way across the bottom down here. Somewhere in here, I have that one piece of washi left. Ooh, I could pull these bullet points in to pull that color over here. That's what I'll do. And this also be good to pull that over on this page. So as you can see, I just, I kind of usually pick a certain color family and Try to balance those out as far as having a little bit on each page. Try not to put too much of it too close together. Let's see what this looks like if I do this. 
a little bit different size, but not much. And then I think I'll put another daisy right here. Now I'm going to go to the one with the yellow background. Several sizes here, some with leaves, some without. I think I want to use a leaf with it. So I'm thinking this would go here. And then I can write in here that this is going to be my road to simple area. Life is good. See, these would be cute to throw in. Life is good. This one, this one. I don't want to use these other flowers because I want to stick with this theme. But what I was thinking is I could put a header across there for a bullet point list of some sort. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. And then I'm going to cover that up. All right, let me get a, a daisy with the mustardy color in the background. And let's just do a small daisy right there, not, not a leaf or anything. I'm going to cover that. And then because this is over my little binder area. I need to cut that out. So I'm going to flip it over on this side and cut this out. Easy to do. I'm really liking this. Isn't that funny how you look at some stickers? They just look so simple. Like, how could you make something really cute out of it and the simple is what looks so good. I love it. So I could make this my to-do list or a shopping list. Same thing here could be a list. I could use these bullet points in here. These would actually tie in good with that. Let's see what that looks like. Let me grab my X-Acto knife. Let's see what these look like if I do. And the way I always do my bullet points like this is I put one at top, one at the bottom, rather than trying to space them out as I go. Then that way you can I it a little bit easier to get them evenly spaced. Now, if I wanted to just have three things I could, or if I put one here, then I could still put two more. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna put one in the middle and then one on top on either side of that. It'll be a nice size list. Pulls out this color over here. Okay. I could put dots in here for this list. I might do that actually. I think I'll use this rather than this. I know this is dark like that, but I might use these over here. So let's put in a couple of dots on this side. I'm just going to kind of eye these here and see. I don't think I'm going to use quite as many as I did on that one. Since I have a large area here. I could use different colors on all of these. Now, I don't have as much room on this side. Just trying to kind of eye them across there. Okay, 
And then I think I'll do the same thing here. I'm liking this. How about you guys? I never really know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm going to do till I start putting them down. I just kind of pick a theme to go with and then go. I'm really liking this. Well, we're going to figure out something over here, but I'm going to wait a little bit on that. This is the same color. I could use this box and cover up this. Let's look at that. Actually, I kind of like the look of this. Then it still kind of creates another little area down here that you can use. And then I'll cover that up with I think this one needs to be like this. I've not used any of these yet, but I don't, I think I've got so many of them right here that I don't want to use them here. I, want, I think I want to stick with one of these down here. Just enough to cover that. And then I think we need some more up here. Now maybe this is where we can use these. Let's see how these look. One with the mustard color here. I don't think it'll look good to lap over that since it's cut out all the way around. I think I kind of need to leave it like that. How about this? I do have bullet point strips, but I almost think these look so neat because of the dots in the middle of the daisies. So I don't, I don't think I would use bullet point strips. I think I would just use more of these if that's something I choose to do. Let's take another look. Fam time. I like that. A lot of times I put a family block in my plan just as a way to kind of remind me of people that I need to, to get in touch with that I haven't talked to in a while. Not necessarily that I have a, a family event, but just check on this person or check on that person, you know, check in, see how they're doing, that kind of thing. I like these. Life is so good, fan time. Could create a section here. Um, let's see if there's any other boxes in this book that I think I could use. Now, I could cut this and put, maybe put that sticker across. No. I don't think I want to do that. I could just have daisies all down this side here. That's something I normally don't do, but you know, why not? I've got plenty of them. Just have a collection of daisies all down the side. I'm not going to discount that. Sometimes you got to just dive in and just go for it and see what happens. So let's just, let's try just making a hodgepodge of things down on the side here. Not really a hodgepodge, but you know what I mean. Let's kind of alternate between the gray background and the mustard color. It looks like that needs to go right there and I really don't mind if it covers that dot up. I'm cool with that because I think that is the place for it. About to run out of these. I gotta watch what I'm doing. Now, let's 
Let's see, I got a labrum for a... I'm gonna put this little one down first so I know how much room I have. It's like working a puzzle piece here. I think I want just one without leaves on it. I think this is kind of cute. What do y'all think? Yeah, what I could do, um, that might be enough to stick over there. Let's see. I'm gonna cut this off. Is that anything I could use over here? So you can use your scraps that way to kind of fill in. Oops. I think I need to pick that up and pull it over just a hair. Oh shoot, I just tore it. That's good enough then. <laughs> that answers that. All right, let me clip off my back edges. do when you can't decide what to do, do to fill in your sidebar oh cool I love it I love it I don't think this page needs a whole lot more I think I might put one of those circles there either life is so good or this one since we've got so many flowers there let's just use this one you could do this sideways or straight up and down but I think I will do it straight up and down. Not much else needs to happen over here. Maybe something right here, but I'll come back to that. So let's kind of focus on this side, how we're going to fill this in. All right, this is what I have left on the gray. I think I have plenty of these. So I need to be a little strategic about how I use the gray ones. Now, since I went off the edge over here, I could do some stuff going off the edge over here. I think that would look nice. Or here, going off the edge down here. Let's kind of do a little bit on this bottom corner. Not as much as that, but just a little bit right here. Kind of like this white showing in here some, so I don't want to go completely off the edge. I mean, I want to leave some white in here is what I'm trying to get at. Because I like the way that looks with the white in between. It's almost like little puzzle pieces. All right, let's do this. I know this is two of the same color together, but I'm trying to get those leaves going different directions too. One of these on the side over here. There again, I've got those two together. But I think that's okay. There's not quite room for one to go in there. I put this in here. Don't want to put one down without the other one because I want to see how they fit. I oh, wish I had a small one of gray, but I don't. Just, I'm going to do this just because it's the size I need. I need a small one there. Okay, let's see how this does.
Oh, I'm really liking this. All right. This is what I'm down to on the gray. I only have two left. So I need to be thinking about where they need to go. So I kind of have these scattered here. So the obvious place for this one is up here. Let's see if it looks okay there or if it's too much. Ooh, I think I like it like this. Oops. Love it, love it. All right, now I have one of these left. Got a lot, I've got something I've got to do here. So maybe there's a way that this can go in here. But I don't know how yet. I'm gonna pull this page out just so I can stick that there. And then I will figure out I really feel like I need one more box there. I don't think there was one in here. Now, I could use parts of this box and cover it up with this pretty well. I'll tell you something we could also do is use this box and let it actually go off of the edge here. Oh, I got an idea. What I'm going to do is cut this one, lap it over so I have a box with this to go right here. Let me show you what I mean. Mm. It's almost too big. All right, let me show you on here what I'm going to do and then we'll figure out how we're gonna do it from here. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm gonna cut along this dotted line. I'm gonna lay this back down in here. So what I'm thinking I will do is cover this up like this. How do you like that? Get rid of those flowers underneath there so I can have a box this color. And it fits in here just perfect. Check it out. Sometimes the sticker gods are just with you. Whoops. Before I push that down, I see a bubble in there. And I want to fix it before it gets bad. Mm. Don't let me mess this up after I'm so proud of it. There. Oh, I like it. I like it. Check it out. I get excited about some things. <laughs> now, so right here, I could use one of the circles. Live more. Life is so good. Live more. I like that. Let's see what this looks like. We're almost done, you guys. Now, I still have this left. Oh, I was talking about putting this on here. But I'm not sure that I need to now. I was thinking about just letting this go off the edge right here. Right here. And the question is, do I want white to show around it or not? White shows around everything else. So I think in this case I will, and I can even go up a little higher. Yeah, I like that. All right, so now I've used all of those. 
I do have some of the mustard color left if I need those. I really kind of don't want to go off the bottom here because I like the way this is on the edge. Now, up here, kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like. I think it looked okay without anything up there too, but mm, am I getting this too busy, guys? I tend to do that sometimes. You get going with things and you just fill it all in, but yeah, I could do this just right here though. Kind of like that. Just to continue up this path a little bit. I'm almost thinking I need to put some dots on this side. What do you think? Maybe some dots down there to pull that all together. I think I'm gonna leave room to put some type of a heading there. So it can either say shopping or to do's or something like that. Oh, wait a second. There was a neat to do box. I'll pick this back up. Now I have to do in the same color. I might need to shoot since I have that there. Let me see what if I use the to do in the same color as the box. Oh, that's got a white thing on the top. I'm going to cut this white stripe off the top because for what I'm doing, I don't think I want that. And then from here, I'll put these dots. Those aren't spaced out exactly right, but that's all right. By the time you fill it in, I'm not worried about things being absolutely perfect. Just wanted to be fun. That's the most important thing. I'm just proud of myself with that box. Just cutting it, putting it together to get rid of the flowers I didn't want. And making that just fit right in there. Bringing in the colors everywhere. I really like this. Let's see what this looks like. I'll put this down here. Just kind of a continuation from that. Yeah, I like it. Almost looks like I need something there. I could put the Inspire here and pick this up and put it over top. All right, let me see how easily I can get these things up right here. If I can get these up easy, which it looks like I can. Okay, let me see about this. This will kind of finish off our edge here. Pull that up a little bit. And pull this one up a little bit. All right, now let's put this across here. Be careful about lighting that back down over. Oh, that looks nice. There, I think. Oh no, now that makes me think we could put one there. I don't think this is long enough to, yes, I think it might be. Let's see. I would think of all this in the beginning, it would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? 
sometimes you just don't see these things. And, oh, just rip that one too. All right, let's see where this, how this fits in here. I don't think it's gonna go all the way across. I'm gonna need every little piece of it that I can. Am I gonna be lucky enough to get it to go all the way across? Oh, just a hair. All right. Now I need to move this whole thing over just a tad. All right, I'm gonna be careful and pull this whole sticker up so I can move it over just a smidge. <laughs> but that's important, just that little smidge. Cause I don't wanna have a hole right there. All right, this is gonna work. I think I'm gonna angle it a little bit like that. Then I need to cut this little spot out. Wow, that really finishes it off nice, doesn't it? And I like to have a gratitude list. That's going to be perfect right there. I cut out my little we here. I do make a little punch for this and I just never have bought one. Probably need to do that. But I just haven't done it. Oh, what's that? Oh, I think it's a piece of sticker off my scissors. Okay. I like it. I like it. I think this one is done. Boy, you know, you just really get surprised sometimes when you just go to pick out something. You have no idea how it's going to turn out. I never dreamed that it would look like this, but I really love this with the white spaces intermingled. I just really like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. And of course, leave me a thumbs up if you like it. That really helps me to grow my channel, to have some interaction on my site. Let me grab my book and put this in so we can see what it looks like. Let's pop it in here. Ooh, look how pretty these rings look with this particular design. I like it. I really like it. So in some ways this does look a little bit springy, but the colors are, some of them are a little bit more subdued. So I think it works out fine to have this in a September layout, which honestly, it doesn't matter what time of the year. If you want something bright and colorful, you don't have to use fall colors. You can do anything you want at any time of year. That's the beauty of decorating your own calendar. You don't have to go by the norms of what society says are the colors for this month or that month. I like to use this for my top three. I will make an area for to-dos, shopping, road to simple. I'll write that in later. Got a birthday to put in here. When I get started filling this in, I'll decide which headings need to go where and finish it then so thank you thank you thank you for watching today and please leave me a comment let me know what you think of this layout and if you're excited about fall and what you've got planned to do i would love to hear from you we're going to try to make a couple trips to visit family this fall so i'm really looking forward to that so I hope you have some things that you're looking forward to, whether it's a lot or maybe what you're looking forward to is quiet time. So be sure to put that in your plan as well. Schedule in some time for quiet time, relaxation time, and time to take care of you because you are worth it. If you feel up to doing some decluttering around your home, be sure and check out my channel for all the videos that I do on that. I would love to see you on those videos as well. So take care. Keep it simple. 
and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>